out Do me a favor, say that shit, that shit. Like bad kids, bitch, we reckless yeah. All hearts are like taxes What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Guap signing back with another video. And hold up, it's 4:54 here in Chicago, so I know it's probably around like still three o'clock on the West Coast, probably, and then somewhere around five or six o'clock on the East Coast. So if this video will be pumped out in like a couple hours, so like I know I'll probably get it on time. But anyways, it feel like it's been a long time since I actually sat down and made a video. I mean. I did make that little rant about making, like, stop blaming video games for tragedies and whatever. But other than that, I haven't actually sat down and made an official reaction video. Now, uh, today we gonna react to more Honest Trailers, man. These uh, Honest Trailers guys, they be on they shit. They really know they shit inside and out. Now, one of their videos that they made, like, in their past is the Emoji Movie. Now... The Emoji Movie, I went to go see that movie, that shit, that shit was trash, I'm not even gonna lie to you, that shit was garbage, that shit was garbage, but, um, I saw the trailer, when I first heard about it, I'm like, they for real making movies about emojis, like, what the fuck, so, I'm like, of course we all know it's gonna be terrible, because they milking out, they just throwing shit out there, next thing you know, they're gonna be making videos about talking shoes. Which I think that's already been an idea. I'm not really sure. Um, but other than that, the Emoji Movie was utterly terrible. It was just terrible. Like, we all know this. But I want to see how these Honest Trailers guys, these Screen Junkie guys, actually break down this movie. I want to see how they do it. And judging by the amounts of likes it got and the amount of views it got, it's probably fucking good. But anyways, as y'all know... I watch my reactions live, like, we watch these stuff, we watch my, we, these reactions together. I am tripping over my words today. But without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Link is in the description as well if you want to watch it for yourself. Toy Story was visionary. Inside Out was a true original. And Wreck-It Ralph was still pretty good. But now, the secret world under our own premise ends up like Taco Bell through a human centipede in <laughs> The Emoji <laughs> Movie. Experience a film that only comes around when a studio exec has custody of the kids for a weekend. <laughs> and the movie is the top priority. While story, plot, character, humor, and tone come tied for dead last. In a film that may not be the worst one ever made, but it is the worst example of Hollywood farting out 80 minutes of cynical branded advertising and pretending it's a movie. Too honest, here's a poop joke. You might be making too much stink out of all this. You know emojis? Those little pictures morons use instead of words? Did you ever wonder if they were alive? No? How about what their day job is like? No? Their love life? Never? Well, too bad, because you're going inside the bland animated world of your phone whether you like it or not. <laughs> there are three-dimensional representations of two-dimensional text icons with one dimension to their personalities and zero depth to any of this. Are you finished? <laughs> Meet Gene, the meh emoji. Voiced by humanity's own mad TJ Miller. He needs to believe in himself, get the girl, save the world, and probably some other generic protagonist goals you'll miss while you nap through the second act. Watch him and the carpool karaoke guy travel from app to app to show off all the cross promotion Sony was able to sell. But cause internet culture moves faster than it takes to animate a movie, all the apps are outdated. Welcome to Just Dance. Candy Crush. All the slang is embarrassing. Hashtag blessed. NBD dude. Flat now, I just want to throw this out there, man. If any of y'all went to go... Let me know in the comment section below. When you went to go see the Emoji Movie, was that shit cringe or not? Because that shit... Like, there was... Like, I remember I was sitting down with my niece. Y'all know I got two nieces, right? So, whenever they come over to my house, we always put on the movie for them. We always watch a movie together. So, one of the movies that they wanted to watch was the Emoji Movie. Now, of course, I never... I didn't see it at the time, but I actually decided to sit, sit down and watch it with them. I sat down and watched that movie. I damn near wanted to blow my damn brains out of all the cringy jokes that motherfuckers was making during that whole 80-minute film. Like, and like, 
and now don't get me wrong that idea the idea of like like you know little emojis like running around like you know butt fucking each other like not in the academic sense but like in the you know general sense like running around do 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 like that's not bad at all the problem is it would be better if emojis haven't been invented yet like that that would been that would been better if it was actually just now being a thing like don't get me wrong the idea itself it was sort of bland and it was sort of like meh and plus that's not a reference to the movie by the way um i mean it was just whatever it was just whatever it was just a regular boring movie but let me know what you guys thought what you guys think of that movie did you like the movie or no let me know in the comments Ooh, shade and all the emojis have about six months of relevance left until they're replaced by Apple's horrifying human emoji hybrids. <gasps> got a chicken. <laughs> okay, think of the laziest joke you can think of. In the nosebleeds. Uh, I'm standing right here. <laughs> no, even lazier. What kind of business? Monkey business. <laughs> now, dumb it down to the point where it barely makes sense anymore. Is that the time? Hey! My eyes are up here, pal. Congratulations. Now you're writing the Emoji Movie. Suffer through a parade of dumb kids humor bordering on anti-comedy, where the mad joke is running to the ground so hard you can't tell what happiness is anymore. I'm just beaming with pride. I'm so nervous, I could almost shrug. Stop. Don't overreact. Uh-oh. I told you not to overreact. Please stop. Right now, I'm so overwhelmed with passionate feelings for you. I get it. This is jazzy. Ah! But nowhere does this comedy come closer to tragedy than Sir Patrick Stewart playing a turd. <laughs> you can win a award in the night, but it's nothing compared to the power of a paycheck. You're so soft, Pope. Not too soft, I hope. So experience the perfect film for our times <sighs> that doesn't teach you the positive role of sadness like Inside Out or turn a cash grab into something insightful like the Lego movie, but instead teaches children that life is a meaningless, mediocre, joyless slog that takes place mostly on your phone and only exists to serve a global conglomerate's interest. Uh oh, too honest again. Boob joke! Just doing my duty. <laughs> what? What did I say? Starry. The following actual quotes from the reviews of the Emoji Movie. This toxic piece of kitty trash isn't worth the pixels. Hear that? It's the end of the world. A viewer leaves the Emoji Movie a colder person, not only angry at the film for being unconsciously bad, but resentful of it for making them feel angry. And the poop jokes are minimal. Poop. <laughs> a lot of good people probably had to work really hard on this movie for a really long time. So I'm sorry, not for anything I said about the film, just, you know, those lost years of your life. I well, am damn, that's Prime, fucked up. And I. Alright, now, also, I want to say something really fast. I don't know what it is these days, but it seems like kids are just, will just watch damn near anything. Because, like, okay, now, and you, and let's face it, kids these days are rotten little shits, okay? Like, they'll just watch damn near anything. From clickbait on YouTube, that's clear as day clickbait to us mature viewers, to watching animated garbage on Cartoon Network like Teen Titans Go, and not to mention the Emoji Movie. Let's be honest. Because back in my day, back in my day, even though I wasn't a 90s baby, like we had Rugrats, we had Hey Arnold, we had the Modern Life, uh, the Modern Life, Rocco's Modern Life. We had Ren and Stimpy. That shit, that shit was dirty sometimes, but that's fine. Um, we also had other T. We had also hit TV shows from the 2000s and 2000 up to 2010. Like my thing is like, once Teen Titans Go came along, everything went down the goddamn toilet. Now, back in my day, we had so many good shows. I can literally get, sit here and name you dozens of shows from my childhood that are way better than any of these shows or movies that's being showed to kids now because i can tell you right now if i can actually hold up give me a second here if i can actually show y'all like like what i'm talking about in emojis hold up give me a second give me a second if i was to actually 
if you was actually asking me what would I rate the Emoji Movie? Hold on a second. I can't find anything. Like, Android needs to update their emojis, for real. Where the hell is it? Whatever, I'm not about to fumble around with that. But you get the idea. It's something like this. It's something like this. I was trying to find the poop emoji, but I can't find it on Android for some reason. It was like this. Just face palming the whole time. Like and that and that's time I'm not gonna get back. Let's be honest. And when I went to when I um honestly when I went to go see like what people were talking about with the emoji movie, like I was on like why are they hate on this movie so much? Why is it so bad? I sat through it I sat down through that shit. I walked off on my knees while I was watching the shit and just went back to playing Grand Theft Auto. That's basically what I did. Because the the humor in newer generation TV shows in in movies these days just suck. They just suck from everything from fart jokes, toilet humor, just random cursing, like and that shit's just not fucking funny. It shit's not funny. Back in back in the day, we actually had humor that was just centered around like actual humor and actually thought out jokes. But this shit right here. Makes it makes it makes making a mockery of this. It made a mockery of it. But anyways, man, I'm done with my little rant. Like before my blood pressure gets up and shit. Um also man, um I'm gonna do a couple more reactions to their honest trailers. I know I haven't been doing a lot of reactions and I know y'all love my reactions. So let me know what y'all which trailer uh from screen junkies you guys want me to react to. Because I'm willing to watch a lot more because I seen this for the first time. I didn't watch this before, and they honestly made me laugh. Seriously, these guys are for real funny. But anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you new. I might stream tonight. I'm personally I don't know. I'm really lazy, and I w really want to work out to get a six pack down here, and I want to get muscles. But other than that, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you new. Share it with your friends, and I'm out, bruh.